26. Absolutely incredible match this. Jimmy White concedes, so it's Steve Davis who becomes the 1987 Mercantile Credit Classic Champion. I've got, uh, I've got more strength as a snooker player than probably as a person, but fortunately it's the best thing I do and it's the only thing I do. I think probably, if I had to sort of name my strengths, I've not been I've not been affected by. I'm fairly level-headed when it comes to sort of the fame side of things because you could get totally carried away in this game because you're treated like I mean you're treated so well it's ridiculous around the world but it doesn't go to my head so I think I'm quite pleased that I've sort of I've got sort of fairly level outlook on life. Also, I'm very hard working. Not uh, I do a lot of hard work, but when it comes to actually knuckling down and practicing or whatever, it happens to be the right thing to be able to do for as a snooker player. Um, it just happens that the things I'm pretty good at are the right things for, for what I'm doing. Well, I was just going to say that both the strengths you mentioned there are all to do with your work. That's I mean... right. Well, no, but it's, that's the way it is, I think. I've just been very lucky. I've found something that I'm very good at doing. And, and all the things that, uh, if I have any strengths, are, they're the things that do go towards being a better player. But uh, I'm not too sure about other I mean, I don't really know. I've, got, I've never really sort of uh, dug that deep to find out. I've got no need at the moment. Looking into the future, a couple of the Matchroom players have said to me when talking about Steve Davis, who started the Matchroom team, and uh, with Barry, of course, and uh, Steve Davis, the number one player in the world, they've said a couple of times, a couple of them have, that you make a brilliant father, <laughs> and that they, they feel that it's only a very short while before you settle down and really? share your wealth. Yes. That's very nice of them, isn't it? Well, I don't know. It's a very strange thing. I, I've been asked uh, all through sort of my career, so to speak, ever since I've been in the, in the public eye. Um, uh, so playing bad, I've sort of, you know, I, I, I can be annoyed at it, but I don't get so upset about it. So you, it obviously change as you get older in, in other ways. The, the older you get, I'm sure, the less competitive urge you have. And I think that's noticeable in quite a lot of players, the fact they're not prepared to put the work in. So perhaps one day there'll become a time when I, I say, well, I'm fed up with, or I don't intend to make any more commitments to snooker, and that's probably the time I'll get married. But I don't know when it might be. It could be sort of two or three years. It could be in five years. Well, looking at Terry Griffiths and Willie Thorne, for instance, they're both opening mm. snooker clubs or have got snooker clubs. Yes. And they yeah. feel they're putting something back into the game. I mean, in what sh said. that's what they both said. I mean, oh. as far as you're concerned, do you see that? I don't think I don't you think that snooker club puts anything back into the game. I think it opens this new club. I think it's a very nice thing to do, uh, but I don't think. Uh, I think there's other ways of putting things back into the game and opening a snooker club. <laughs> Enthusiasm in a game is a little bit dependent on how well you can play it. If you start getting beat too often, you do eventually lose heart. But in an another strength, I've got plenty of optimism and heart, I think, when I'm playing. But fortunately, I have a fair amount of normality left in me that I'm not prepared to let go by people wanting me to become something that I'm not. What do people want you to become? Well, interesting. Of course, Dennis is going to finish off with some of, of his classic trick shots, but they stick me on second because, um, sort of like a non-event time, really. You've got to have a good start to a programme, you have to have a good finish, but the middle part could be quite average, or boring, or interesting. <laughs> One of the things we have done, though, is um, apart from advertising, is, is written books on the game. There's quite a few books out, and if you want to know how to play the game, especially young kids, it's a very good way of learning by, if you can't get a pr professional tuition, to, to get a book. And there's quite a lot of books out on the market. We'll go through a few of them for you. There's the Bill Werbenick book of aerobics. <laughs> There's um, Cliff Dorbin's book of complete snooker. That's 4,300 pages long. 
It's my favourite Eddie Charlton's book of winning snooker. That's the title, honestly. It's got the first 14 chapters devoted to winning the toss, that book. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Tony Knowles has got a book out. Although basically it's just photographs of positions on a snooker table. So. <laughs> Alex Higgins has got his new book out. Um, it's called Noddy's Adventures in Preston. <laughs> The first chapter in that is Noddy meets Mr. Plod, the policeman. <laughs> no, actually, we're taking the Vicky out, but we do hope um, the hearing's um, coming up pretty soon. No, <laughs> seriously, it is. All eyes, all, all ears, and all the press will be um, quite involved and, and, and wondering what's going to happen because uh, it's, it's going to be sort of heard, but not, nothing to do with the players. Um, it's going to be a, an independent. Um, Judge is going to uh, so, so no, no, none of the players. I mean, the fact that uh, most of the players don't particularly get on too well with that, it won't make any difference at all. So <laughs> the fact that they're going to hang him. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> <laughs> now we do wish him well because uh, we'd like to see him back on the sports pages instead of. Um, out of the other things. I think everybody wishes him well. He's a great player. If he, if, uh, and I think, um, without sounding like a smart ass, uh, if, uh, no, if, if he kept to the sports pages and not to, I think he'd have even more fans than he's got now. He's got a tremendous amount anyway. So, uh, lovely. Right. Right, it's okay. Yes, that's right. I'll throw you a fish of your club on your own. <laughs> right, okay, my first trick shot. <coughs> Gonna, try <laughs> Gonna try and pot, the, pot all, the, all the red balls on the table and leave all the coloured balls on on the table. So it's the six red balls. It's the four red balls there by the triangle. That's the, the fifth one, there's the sixth red ball. Looks like quite a good triangle. You always have to uh, test a trunk to make sure it's a good one. This is the best way to do it. <laughs> 